My friends, I want to read from our scriptures for you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 23 to 27. He got into a boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, and the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The disciples who were closest with Jesus, who were with him when he was physically walking on this earth, forgot the power of the Lord. And in a storm, they too were frightened. They too worried that Jesus was not with them, even though his presence was right there. And we do the same thing. So it is very natural for us to fear and for us to lose sight of God in darkness and in trials. And this is a trial. It may not necessarily be something that will physically threaten us, but many of us have loved ones who have been hurt, who have become sick. We have family members that are working in situations that put them at risk. And we want to have the Lord present with us in all of this. He is with us and he reminds us, why are you worried? Where is your faith? I implore you to use this time to draw closer to the Lord. You may not have him in the presence of the Eucharist in your house or being able to go to a church physically, but you can find a Mass online. You have the presence of the Holy Scriptures. If you have a Bible, read it. Get close to the Lord and ask him, what is it that he seeks of you right now to grow in your faith? Easter is a perfect time to renew Our faith is we on the Easter Vigil and on Easter Sunday would have renewed our baptismal promises and what we say we believe as Christians. We believe in God. We believe in Jesus Christ, his Holy Son. We believe in the Holy Spirit. Hold on to those truths. Faith is something that grows in times when difficulties probably pressure us to move us and challenge us to new heights. That is what this time comes calls for. And if we lose sight of that, if we lose hope of that, what else do we have if we do not have Christ, who is our strength and our anchor? Continue to be safe. Take the precautions that are being given to us, washing hands, social distancing, and protecting ourselves if we must leave, but not losing sight of the things that we are sure of. We are certain that God is with us, that he loves us, And he would never call anything like this to happen upon us. So we cannot lose sight of that and remain close to him. God bless you. Be safe. And happy Easter, because it still is.